It's not giving me yardage. About 7.4 yards behind the pin. Guys, welcome back to another Monday Road to Pro video. The golf game recently has been feeling up and down. I need the consistency to get there. You know that's what this whole series is about. How can I get as good as possible? Can I eventually one day, whether it's in five years or five months, compete with a pro golfer? Because on my like absolute best days, I can go out on nine holes and my record is five under. But how do I consistentize that? That's a word, Jake. But anyways, as you guys already know, if you watched my Saturday video or even the Sunday match, you know that I got a full brand new set of clubs, okay? If you haven't watched the What's in the Bag, go watch it. And today we're out here at Twin Creeks. I'm gonna be playing the front nine and I'm gonna see if I can shoot my record score on nine holes. I feel like the closest I've got on one of these videos is like two or three under. So my record is five under. I have to go off. If there is ever a place to do it, it would be here though. <laughs> this course is super attackable. And we're gonna be testing out if these new clubs actually help my game or or if they make me worse. You never know. First hole here is a par four. It's a little dog leg right. I mean, it's pretty straight. I got driver in hand. It's about 340, so I'm gonna try and play it up the right side. Could've hit that better. Also, shout out to Micah, Tig. He's on the camera today. He's gonna be trying to do his absolute best to record every single shot. I think his filming is gonna show up to play today. I hit that one pretty good. Pretty solid start in the middle of the fairway. Guys, I'm hitting the brand new 60 degree, the Jaws from Callaway. I like that name, the Jaws. It just gives you like, this is about to spin or something. Like it's got bite on it. I think that's what they went for. Um, I'm playing left clean in place in the fairway, guys. It just rained. I only have 49 yards. I pounded that drive. If I can start off with the birdie, I have not been gauging my wedges too well recently, so let's hope that changes here. Everything rolls out, man. I hit that shot. I'm still looking at like 15 feet for birdie. I landed that about two feet from the pin. So every little segment in this Road to Pro series has actually helped my game a lot. One of the things that you guys already knew was that my putting has kind of sucked recently, but I feel like honestly right now it's one of the best parts of my game, which is super encouraging. I just got to get the right reads and I'm fine. If you watch yesterday's match, he didn't even, he barely missed. That would have been a boost of confidence to start with a birdie. Just the slightest bit of misreads today, guys. I gotta get that dialed in because the stroke feels really good. All right, guys, Garrett's second hole of the day is a relatively short par four, part three. <laughs> I was saying stuff like that all day today, guys. I was saying I had putts at birdie when they were for double. 155 yards. I got nine iron. I don't know where these irons are going yet, so let's see if I can hit this one in the hole. This is a full swing because it is into the breeze. Oh my Jimmy. I think nine was the club, but you just hit it really bad. So like real talk, golf knowledge that I know is my other irons are still to this day. I got fitted for them four years ago and my other irons were two degrees flat. And these irons are standard, which I never hit standard irons. But for those of you who do not know, imagine a golf club like this. If that's two degrees flat, this would be standard. Right now, what I'm kind of like dealing with, what I feel like I'm dealing with, is like a little bit of a difference in ball flight with these new irons. What I mean by that is like, my other irons were, they always had more of a tendency to go left. From what I've noticed so far, is these have just been going kind of straight and I'm getting used to that. But it's just an adjustment that I know I probably needed to make because I don't think I'm two degrees flat anymore since I got fitted like four years ago. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see a club fitting video because that should be happening hopefully pretty soon. Two degrees flat, he got fitted four years ago so he was a lot shorter and that's why, but I think that, you know, once he gets fitted again, they won't be that and he will probably be striping it. That, that was the best chip he's hit all day. That was good. Dude, I almost made that, what the heck. As Mike would say, I threw that one upstairs. He went, one he like went upstairs with that one and it, when it lands on a pillow, okay, you can't, you just can't do anything wrong. Landed like a pillow on top of a pancake. 
That analogy doesn't work. That makes sense. It's just really soft. Wouldn't, wouldn't the pancake need to land on the pillow? I mean, either way it works. On to hole number three, kind of like a dog leg right, par four. I'm gonna try and play it up the right side with the driver. Smash a roo. Spot Kirk shot. Dang, guys, this is what he's looking at. I mean, really, pretty much right at that White House. I gotta make a lot of birdies, guys. Should be in the fairway. That was hit a little bit high and off the inside of the club, but it was in the center of the face. No, yeah. I can know. I know what it sounds like when it comes off high on the face. It wasn't in the inside of the club. Put it in slow motion. A little bit high off the face. It might have been high off the face, but not on the inside. If anything, it was in the toe. Bro, this pool party is just making me feel another type of way. They're having a great time, and I'm like kind of jealous. I wish I was there. This is where my ball ended up, guys. I have 136 yards. Are you sure it's 136? All right, I'm gonna hit a baby pee. Hey, you know what they say, when the house is rocking, don't bother knocking. <laughs> That's true. Here we go, pitching wedge. What? Why? I don't, I, I don't have it, it feels like a good swing, man. I don't understand it. It's crazy. Life, clubs, golf, man, I need to figure out whatever the, the crap that is. Because I'm looking at like 40 feet from 136. I can't be winning matches playing like that, man. Left to right down the hill once again, like 40 feet. Not, <laughs> not ideal. That is the first putt you've missed all day. Scared for par. Eight or nine feet here. Straight down, it's kind of downhill, breaking over. Wow, I'm telling you, he's just been so clutch today with his putt. He, okay. he hasn't necessarily made a bunch of putts, but he had been hitting good, some good putts, so I think it's paying off. I want to explain why I feel like I'm hitting it so much better. And I explained this in the putting charity video. We have some time, so I'm just going to talk about it real quick. It's all in the backstroke and the through stroke. One of my biggest problems is ever since I got this putter, I started taking a huge backstroke and then decelerating through impact. And the biggest thing that's helped my putting is a shorter backstroke and a longer through stroke which is allowing me to give it way more confident strokes. Like even that, I missed it, but I hit a really good putt. So that's the key to my putting recently. On to hole number four. I am currently even par, not the best start. I just haven't been giving myself really good looks at birdie. So hopefully I can do that on this next hole. Another thing, my driver and my chipping and my putting are feeling good. I got a missing link right now and it's the irons. And I just got new irons. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying I need to figure it out. Oh, that's so good. Gosh, that was good. You can't hit a better tee shot on this hole. This He's gonna is, have a long ways in. I mean, it's par five. This is a tough hole. You can just see it. It's super tight and it's kind of intimidating. So I'm happy with that shot. I need to figure out these irons, man. I'm not blaming it on the irons, but I will say it's gonna be okay. I don't know. I, oh, we got someone still in front of us. I'm gonna try something crazy here. It kind of calls for a fade. So I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna just try and hit a shot shape because right now, when I'm hitting these irons, trying to hit them straight, they either go straight right or straight left. So I'm gonna aim left of the green and try and play something into there. I got 210 with the four iron. Almost flew out of my hand, dude. That was dead straight? Yeah. Perfectly struck, good yeah, divot. divot. Looks really good. If anything, it was a little bit heavy. That's gonna be a big Okay, we drove up here and I'm like, look at this house, okay? I mean, that right there looks pretty big. And then- Look at that entrance. Look at it what literally that goes to the other like. side of the golf course. I mean, that's like a full wedge from one side of the house to the other. That's gotta be like a 14,000 square foot house. 14,000 square foot and like 9.6 million or something. If you watch the What's in the Bag video, you probably already know this, but with these irons, like you probably heard me on that shot. I said that <laughs> that club almost flew out of my hand. I'm still waiting to get my irons re-gripped because from the first shot I hit, I was like, these are super pure, but we gotta figure out a better grip for me. So I've been kind of dealing with that today. Hands are a little slip. The hands are feeling a little slicky, slippery. The hands are feeling a little slippery. I can't talk. Um, I got like a flop shot here. Get up and down for my birdie. I think I can here. The release has just been insane. Golf? Sometimes it's very hard to not get frustrated. That just, it was such a good shot. It just rolled forever. I'm not giving myself good opportunities for birdie. I think I can make this one though. <laughs> I am giving it such good putts and good rolls, but 
barely missing. After hole number four, I'm even par still. I don't, I feel like things are in the right direction. I just gotta, gotta dial it in here. Hole number five, par four. Hole five here, par four, straight away. There's that house is still big, by bury. the way. That house is just insane. Straight up the hill. The driver's feeling good. I'm just giving it a nice, confident rip. Hit. With the humidity in the air, it ain't gonna, it's not really going anywhere. The driver, we gotta talk about the positives here. Driver, three wood, chipping, putting, every, all of that literally feels 10 out of 10. But when it comes to iron shots, I need to figure that out, man. I got 90 yards, guys. Garrett's got 90 yards in here. Just absolute prime rib position. I mean, it... oh, <laughs> he was crossing his fingers. I love golf, man. What the heck? Probably gonna be pin high just a little bit right. I don't know where that little block is coming because you're hitting everything good distance. But it's not always a block. That's what's so confusing. Like you go to the last hole, it's left. The hole before, left. The Probably par that. three, right. How are you just feeling that insecurity about your glove? I don't know, man. Swing's feeling good. I just gotta, gotta figure out the line. It's not giving me a yardage. Too close. All right. It's about 7.4 yards behind the pin, which is about double the length. So I think I got about I got about 3.7 yards. Well, seven yards. I got about 3.7 yards. Minus 11 feet. No, I 11, got 3.7 yards. Point six feet. Right. It's a good opportunity here. He, Massive needs, opportunity. he needs to make this. It's a mystery. I am looking at a ways back, man. That's scary. I gave that one. I gave it a run. I was Confident like, you know stroke. What? I want to make this. It just tips over the edge. Uh, you love to see it. I want to, guys. I want to see if I can make this for fun. Nope, misread it. Um, I went ahead and skipped hole six because there was a foursome on it. We're kind of playing a little fast today. So we're on to hole seven, which is a par five. Basically, I just want to play nine holes in today's video. This is what hole number seven looks like. Straight away par five. I got driver in hand. Give it a rippy too. It's gonna be okay, but. I think I heard cart pass. Yeah, I saw it bounce like twice. It's not a bad place over there, but that just went straight, man. All right, guys, there's the green right there. Garrett's ball right over there. And I'm gonna be bidding him from right here so that he can, so he can see. I don't know if that's the right line. That is gonna be right of the green, but it's gonna be okay. That's the thing, is it's gonna be okay, I'm pretty sure. A little long right of the green. I got a chip to get up and down for bird. I honestly hit that five iron really pure. You need to make a bird. Especially for the video, this has been so boring. This is my sixth hole, and I've had zero birdie. Oh. These greens just run forever, my guy. Bro, I feel like I got the right idea on everything, and I'm like hitting decent shots. It's just like, I did not expect that to roll 45 feet. I can make this. Come on, Carl. What am I doing, bro? This is gonna, this is literally, so far I bet this is the most boring beat my record video of all time. But let's finish strong, all right? Three holes left. Three, three holes left. I'm through six holes. I got hole eight and I got hole nine and then I'm gonna go play hole 10. So I could bury the last three and shoot three under. You never know. So if you're still staying tuned, if you're still watching this video, let's try and get this to 9,000 likes for nine holes. Three times three equals nine. And I'm about to shoot three under. All right guys, this is what he's looking at. We got the uh, kid crossing. So wait just a second on that. That guy's booking it right there. Garrett, gonna take it right at the 150 stake right there with a little draw. That's perfect, right? Yeah, it should be really good. You can just cash that in. I got nervous for a second Not now. that I didn't clear the water because I didn't see it bounce, but I see it in the fairway. I hit that one really good, so I'm gonna have a good opportunity to once again, hopefully make birdie. I just gotta give myself a putt. I just gotta hit that iron shot close. That's what I gotta do here. Gotta get in the right positions here and to give myself that opportunity. Guys, yeah, so we made it to Garrett's ball. He's got 123 yards. Come on, baby. Let's go. 64. Ooh, nice. Pushed it back there, but it's still a little bit, that's still spinning back. What am I doing, man? Gotta make that. Spun that one back. That's the first shot I spun back. Up the hill, left to right. This is a tapping, if you ask me. Confident stroke right over this dude in front of me. Did 
dude. I don't even, I mean, respect if you guys are still watching this video. I've made seven pars in seven holes. I got two holes left to hopefully put some excitement in this video. Finish strong. You gotta do it wrong, do it strong. Second to last hole, hole nine on the course. This is what it looks like. It's a dog leg left, par four. I got driver in hand. All right guys, Garrett with driver on his eighth hole of the day. Ah, too low. Get through, baby. Wow, that was terrible. That needs to run. Whatever happens, that needs to get some wheels. It needs to get up on its horse and get going. That was a little, uh, that's kind of what we like to call the little hook and a little stuck. I don't like hooking the golf ball. A little strategy, a little encore strategy when you're playing with a cart and it's cart path only, which it is today. Just take your full golf bag. So once you get your ball, you're not like, okay, I have the wrong club, especially in, the, in my situation. I'm in a weird spot, okay? I don't have an easy shot. I got trees in my way. I got probably over 100 yards, and I gotta figure out a way to dial this one up in the cheek, so. That's what I'm looking at. 105. Yep. This is what he's looking at. I mean, 105 yards. Just gonna hit a little little baby draw right around that big tree. Nine iron closed down, man. Oh! Is it too much? I don't know. It could be good, it could be bad. Could be long, could be short, could be right, could be left. That was a cool hook around the tree though. I know. I need I, to clean my clubs, man. I followed that really good. Guys, I gotta work some magic here. I don't have, I have, once again, I've been playing it up in the fairway, mud on the ball, stuff like that. I hit this one a little long. I got a 60 degree in hand. I wanna make this, okay? I wanna get some excitement in the chat right here after this goes in. Freaking right. I'm telling you, this has been some slow, consistent golf. Guys, eighth hole today, on to the last hole, which we're actually gonna play a par five. Normally, I should have played a par three, but we skipped a par three, so now we're gonna be playing a par five. I'm still even par. This, is, this has been the most boring golf I've ever played on camera. At the end of the day, I'm playing consistent, and that is good, so hopefully I can start making some more birdies. Last hole, guys, par five straight away. Definitely gettable. This could be my only under par hole of the day. If I hit a good tee shot and then I get it in the right positions off the second shot, hopefully I can make an eagle. Should be in the fairway. Nice shot. 260. I should have three wood because it's so wet, but I didn't bring it from the cart, so. Par five, second shot, 260. I'm hitting this hard, two iron. I think it's short of the bunker. I've just like been, it's weird today. I've just been kind of like hacking it around, keeping it in play. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not making birdies. I'm just like swinging it. I got like 35 yards, got the 60 degree. I gotta get in the right positions. I gotta make you guys a birdie because I've only been making pars. Just get up and down for birdie. The... Mm. Unbelievable bounce. First one that didn't release today, guys. I gotta look at it. Let's see if I can finish strong, get it to one under, four shots away from, from my record. All right guys, this right here can finish at one under par. Nine holes, nine pars. That's never happened on my YouTube channel. I can guarantee that. Huge shout out once again to Tig over here for filming that whole video. We played really fast there too. He kind of has a YouTube channel going that might have four subscribers by now. I'm up to six six so you guys can subscribe if you want to anyways guys what the heck tig says he's gonna chip this in real quick that was close now i shot even par nine holes nine pars that that i don't know if you guys enjoyed that let me know if you guys still enjoyed it because that was probably some of the most boring golf you guys have ever seen just like hacking it around and barely scraping together a decent round but i want to show you guys everything i don't want you to i don't want to just show you guys the good or even the bad, this was kind of just right in between. I'd rather just show you guys everything. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, as always, be sure to stay tuned for the next one, guys. Until next time, peace out.